Hello everyone, today we are going to solve another important problem from module 4, principle of mathematical counting. Second, so the question is how many integers between 1 and 300 are formed. So the question first part is divisible by at least one of the 5, 6, 8. So we are solving for first part. Divisible by at least one means 5, 6, 8. So let S equals to the set of 1, 2, 3 up to 300 be given the set of integers and a1, a2, a3 are the subset of given set. So the value of set equals to 300 how many integers are there? 300 are there and a1, a2 and a3 are the subset of given set. So what is the value of a1? a1 equals to 5, a2 equals to 6, a3 equals to 8. So we have to find divisible by at least one of them. So one, at least one of them means it is divisible by minimum one or maximum more than one integers. So what we have to find in this case we have to find a1 union a2 union a3 this is the condition of at least one is divisible so what is the formula of this one a1 plus a2 plus a3 minus a1 intersection a2 plus a2 intersection a3 plus a1 intersection sorry a2 intersection a1 intersection a2 a1 intersection this is a1 a1 intersection a3 and a2 intersection a3 then plus a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 so this is the formula of at least one. So first we go for the find the value of a one. So even how can we find how many inter interest elements are there? Three interest are there three hundred divided by what the value of a one? Five. So how, what is the value of this become sixty? Like that a two equals to three hundred divided by six equals to fifty. Now go for a three equals to three hundred divided by eight equals to thirty seven. So this is the value of a1, a2 and a3. Now go for the a1 intersection a2. So in this case what we have to do? We have to take the LCM of a1 and a2. So what is the value of a1? 5, a2, 6. So the LCM of these two? 30. So 300 divided by 30, it becomes 10. Then a this is a1 and a intersection a2. Now go for a2 intersection a3. So what is the LCM of A1 intersection A3? Sorry, A2 intersection A3? 6 and 8. So what is the LCM of this one? 24. So the answer is 12. Now go for the A1 intersection A3. So 300 divided by 40. So it becomes 7. So now we got the value of a1, a2, a3 minus a1 intersection a2, a2 intersection a3 and a2, a1 intersection a3. So put the value of the given we, which we find in equation first. Then we get a1 union a2 union a3 is the condition for at least one. So 60 plus 50 plus 60 plus 50 plus 37. 60 plus 50 plus 37 minus 10 plus 7 plus 12 and plus 2 equals to 120. So what is the value of a1 union a2 union a3 equals to 120. So this is the condition of at least one. Now we go for the condition of second. This will by more than none of them 5, 6, 8. So here, sorry for the misconvenience. 
so that two is comes from this value a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 so what is the lcm of 5 comma 6 comma 8 3 times divided by what is the lcm of 5 comma 6 comma 8 is 120 so it comes 2 times so for the value of this one it comes 2 so now we go for the second part divisible by none of 5 comma 6 comma 8 5.68 in this second part none of then divisible by 5.6.8 so what is means divisible by none of them means not divisible by a single integer so what is the case of this one so we have to find a not intersection a2 intersection a3 so how many elements are there in the integers are in the set as equals to 300 so 300 minus a1 union a2 union a3 in total subset we have to uh, in total set we have to minus the subset what we have to find in first case union union means at least one but in second case none of them means we have to uh, subtract from the whole subset so 300 minus 120 what is the value of this one we already find sorry not this one so a1 union a2 union a3 equals to 120 from the last value from this one value of a1 union a2 is 120 so 300 minus 120 means 180 so none of them divisible by 5 6 8 so a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 is 180 this is the final answer